Everyone out there watching in TV land, I'm Danger Dan. Uh, we're doing a dare today. Uh, we have Chris Dieter wanted to see Winnie the Pooh, but Frank Miller style. And then we have um, Joey Rodriguez wanted to see an overweight middle-aged Captain America drinking Mr. Lemon in a filthy apartment. Let's get this done. Starting with our Frank Miller style Winnie the Pooh. Pooh Bear, Winnie the Pooh Bear. Committing some crimes, probably doing time now. All right, so Winnie the Pooh's over here. He's eating honey. He's surrounded by bumblebees. We'll explain why later. Unless you can figure that out for yourselves, in which case, <laughs> you win, you're a genius. Here we go, bumblebees. We got the honey pot. All right, so let's do our Captain Planet. All right, he's middle-aged. He's, uh, he's, a little out of shape, okay? Clearly his message has not really landed where he wanted it to. That whole saving the planet game seems to have like ended a, ended in a dead end for a old Captain Planet. Sorry, buddy. But that's okay. You always got a little Mr. Lemon to sip on. And uh, thanks to Jordan Payne, you also have a nice little Chimita pet. A little mutant cat dog hybrid. So I want to call him Puppy Cat, but I feel like, is that already a thing? Puppy Cat? Is Puppy a Cat a thing? It already is a thing. So, is there, <laughs> is Cat Dog in, in a way, is that kind of like an inspiration for Human Centipede? Captain, Captain Planet has let himself go a little bit, but I'm body positive. There's no wrong way to be. There's no wrong shape to be. So that's okay. We all, we all age, and even, even old Captain Planet aged. No filthy apartment is complete without a disgusting, beat up couch. Do you guys ever think uh, Winnie the Pooh had to go to like, like a group home or, you know, like, go get his honey problem addressed in an official capacity? <laughs> this one, this Winnie the Pooh definitely probably needed that intervention a couple of times. So other than Christopher Wob Robin, Christopher Wobbin, other than Christopher Wobbin, who in the hundred acre woods would you say was Winnie the Pooh's best buddy? I'm going for Piglet, what do you think? Yeah, I always thought Piglet, is that, a, is that a pig? Is it really a pig or is that just a cute name for whatever he happens to be? Probably Armadillo. I have the same problem with Kermit the Frog. Like, that guy's not a frog. That guy's a frilled lizard with a tail. The Planeteers. The Planeteers? Well, let's just say they, they, uh, they probably got a little disgruntled when uh, every single thing they tried to do to save the planet got undone by pretty much every single person on the planet. Name all the planeteers. <laughs> uh, there's Mati with the power of heart. Uh, that's it, I don't remember the other one. And the reason I remember that is because one, at one point a long time ago, me and a bunch of my friends were like, let's order all the, the planeteer rings and for some reason they all like were like, you get heart. Cause I was like, I don't know the last one there. And I was like, aw. I was like, actually I like that one. Everyone's like, that's the worst one. And I'm like, no way you can communicate with all the animals. And I don't know, feel things. Anyone see that video of a bear like swinging nunchucks? Now I will say this, uh, Captain America. Sorry, did I say Captain America? I will say this, <laughs> Captain Planet did one thing. And this is something I noticed as I was growing up was in like the 80s and like the early 90s, people would just litter nonstop. Just like, I mean, like everybody did it, just throw McDonald's wrappers out of their window on the highway. Just like, you know, like throw an empty pack of cigarettes on the ground. Everyone was chain smoking, just cigarettes everywhere. You went, soda cups on the ground. There'd be a trash can, a public trash can, and people would just throw it on the ground near the trash can. But Captain Planet, you did this for us. You made everybody more aware of how gross that is. And I can tell you right now, there's a lot less littering. And it's all thanks to you, Captain Planet. Oh, that's from The Tick. That's Chairhead Chippendale. Why do I know that? Because The Tick is awesome. The cartoon is great. You know what I think is kind of funny is like, names like Winnie the Pooh is a, was, you know, for a male character. But in this day and age, you only see like a, a female named Winnie usually. Same thing with like uh, Bambi, like Bambi is a boy character, but anyway, I thought that was kind of weird. 
Uh, thank you for tuning in to this episode of Dare Danger Dan. Thanks for joining us in the 100 Acre Woods. Uh, thank you, Chris Dieter, for your dare. of um, We got uh, Winnie the Pooh, Frank Miller style. And thank you, Joey Rodriguez, for daring me to draw Captain Planet, overweight, middle-aged, in a filthy apartment, drinking Mr. Lemon. All right, thanks for everybody that tuned in. And we're going to get another episode started just about now. So stick around for the live chat. And we're going to have a new episode for you very soon. So always tune in to Dare Danger Dan.